The first problem is, let's say we have 6.54 and we want to add this to 3.98. So we have the decimal points lined up and we add beginning again in the right column. So what do we have? 8 going up, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 means we put a 2, carry a 1. Now, 9 plus the 1 is 10. 10 plus the 5 is 15. So put that 5 there, carry a 1. 6, then 7, then 8, 9, 10 means we put the 10 right here. And the decimal just falls right out of the problem. 10.52. 10.52. All right, problem number 2. Let's say we have... 68.68, uh, and we want to add this to 8.48. All right, what do we have? Right column, 8 plus 8 is the same as 8 times 2, which is 16. Now, you can add them on your fingers, that's fine, but we know the answer is 16, so let's just put the 6 there and carry that 1. Now, 6 and 4 we know make 10. That's a complement. If you forget, just count up 7, 8, 9, 10. Then one more is 11, means we carry a 1. Again, we have 8 plus 8. We know that's 16. One more, 17. Carry the 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. The decimal just falls right out of the problem for 77.16. All right, now we're going to add three numbers here. What about 105 decimal to 1? And we'll add to that 27 decimal 15. And we'll add to that 2 decimal 63. Looks like a hard problem, but it really isn't because we have the decimals lined up. We always have to have that. So next, five, then we have six, seven, eight, then we have nine. Nine goes in this column. Six, then seven, then eight, nine. Nine goes in this column. Then we have seven, then we have eight, nine. So we have nine plus five. We know that that's 14. 10 plus five is 15, so nine plus five is 14. Carry the one. Two plus one is three and the one just falls down, and then the decimal also falls down, and what do we have? 134.99. Now, what does that mean? That means that's about as close as you can get to 135 as you can be with a decimal to the hundredths place. 0 0.99, if it rolls over one more, it'll be at 135. So the 0 0.99 is telling you that you almost have another hole, so you almost have 135, but you're not quite there. All right, you're, you're, you're not quite there. All right, next problem. Let's take a look at the following. Let's say we had 32.12 and 14.21. What do we have? Start in the right column. The decimals, again, are lined up. 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 1, again, is 3. 4 going up, 5, 6. 6 goes here. 3 going up, 1 more is Four and the decimal just flows into the answer 46 decimal 33 46.33 all right we're about to the halfway mark this is the halfway mark here let's take a look at 76.58 and we'll add to that 24.35 how do we add these same thing as before let's take a look in the right column 8 going up 9 10 11 12 13 so 13 means a 3, carry a 1. 5, then 6, then 7, 8, 9. 9 goes right here. 6 and 4, we know they're complements. They go together to make 10. If you don't remember, then it's 7, 8, 9, 10. Carry the 1. Uh, 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 2, again, is 10. So we put a 10 down here. The decimal just comes right out of the problem. 100.93. Again, this means I'm very close to 101. If it gets to 0.99, then it flips over one more, then we have... Uh, over to 101. So we're very close to 101. All right, next problem. Let's take a look. 168 decimal 42. And we'll add to that 35 decimal 67. What do we have? Right hand column, 7 going up, 8, 9. Put a 9 right here. 6 and 4 we know make 10. They're complements, they make 10. So we put a 0, carry. Now we have 8, then 9. 9 plus 5 is what? 14. 9 plus 5 is 14 because 10 plus 5 would be 15. So 9 plus 5 has to be 14. Carry the 1. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 means I have a 0. Carry a 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 
decimal falls out. And so the answer is 204.09. The 0.09 just means that I'm not too far past the 204. I'm very close to 204. I have a little tiny bit more than that, but that's it. Next problem, we're gonna add three numbers together. 3.16, we'll add to that 2.12, we'll add to that 1.61. Now notice again, all three decimal points are lined up. That's what we wanna have every time. Six, then we have seven, eight, nine. Nine goes here. Six, seven, eight, so eight goes here. Three, four, five, six goes here, and the decimal just falls right down, so the answer is 6.89. All right, only uh, three more problems in this lesson. What about 2.94? And we'll add to that 6.13. What do we do? Right column, four going up, five, six, seven. Nine plus one is 10, carry a one right here. Six, seven, eight, nine goes right here. And the decimal just flows right down into 9.04. I'm sorry, 9.07. All right, only two more problems. Let's take a look at 4.23 and we'll add to that 2.96 and we'll add to that 0 0.02. Notice this last number, 0 0.02, is very close to zero. We just have a tiny little bit above zero there. That's all it is. Tiny little fraction above zero. Here we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 means we put a 1, carry a 1. 9, 10, 11, 12 means we put a 2, carry a 1. 4, 5, 6, 7 means we put a 7, and the decimal flows down for 7.21. And that's the final answer. All right, now here is our very last problem in this lesson. What about 25.09? And we'll add to that 3.11. And the decimals are, of course, lined up. In the right column, 9 plus 1 is 10. 0 carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 5 going up, 6, 7, 8 goes here. And the 2 flows down, and the decimal again flows down for an answer of 28.20. So now we have conquered the idea of adding decimals to the hundredths place. And in these lessons, again, all we're doing is lining up the decimal and basically adding as normal and then dropping the decimal into the answer. All we've done so far is addition. Now we need to turn our attention to subtraction. So follow me on to the next lesson once you feel like you understand this and we will begin to subtract decimals. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.